This week at the NCPA, news coverage featured NCPA research and experts in Forbes, Real Clear Policy, The Hill, Heartland, and a commentary on the threat of electromagnetic pulse attacks on the nation's power grid in the Houston Chronicle. We published several new studies and reports in the past week, including senior fellow Devin Herrick's study on the unraveling of Obamacare health insurance co-ops. A brief on real, simple, and transparent tax reform from tax attorney and research associate Jeff Lerner. The first study from the NCPA's new financial crisis initiative on the crucial need for financial transparency and a report on the need for increasing growth of STEM studies, that is, science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. Congress returned to Washington after the Memorial Day week break, and NCPA Legislative Director Brian Williams reports on the major topics they tackled. The Senate approved the USA Freedom Act this week, which reauthorizes most of the National Security Agency's powers under the Patriot Act, but without the controversial bulk phone data collection program. The Senate's now moving on to the National Defense Authorization Act, while the House of Representatives is working on their yearly appropriations bills, setting a pretty good pace that I haven't seen in a long time. Now, very soon, Congress will need to decide what to do about the Export-Import Bank, which expires on June 30th. There are strong and influential business interests in favor of the reauthorization, but we think the the Export-Import Bank ought to expire. Not only is it a form of corporate welfare to huge companies that don't need the taxpayers to subsidize them, but it also duplicates what really ought to be a function of commercial banks. A very productive week, and it's made possible by your support. Thank you from the NCPA, America's Think Tank.